Hello. Today, in this lovely piano classroom, I'd like to speak about the new meaning of music that I began discovering recently for myself and um, I'd like to share it as well as the music itself. Um, all my adult life I have been dedicating my time to teaching music, sharing this precious gift to the humankind. Um, in fact, um, as I think about it, I started teaching um, my first student at the age of 16 years old. Um, it's a really rewarding process because um, you observe um, how a student changes her or his patterns, mental patterns, um, while we talk about finger movements, they reflect actually very complex and sophisticated cognitive uh, processes. Um, I have been also very passionate about advocating for the access to music and arts education for all um, because I believe in um, tremendous transformative power of music on the human brain. In fact, I believe in its evolutionary um, impact on our less than perfect brain structure that we had inherited from our Neanderthals uh, ancestors. Um, my passion I turned into actions uh, in addition to dedicating my life to teaching I started gathering the um, action towards advocacy for arts and music education and I was very glad that my colleagues supported me in my effort to organize international symposium um, on advocacy for music and arts education through brain music research evidence um, and it it was uh, part of a uh, 28th World Conference for International Society for Music Education, the world's oldest and most acclaimed, most respected organization in the field of music education. Um, in, my, um, in my presentation, actually in, in the abstract that can be found on um, our website, charismafoundation.org. I had referred to various things, but I had used a very telling example of um, our musical predecessor, predecessor um, Bach, Johann Sebastian Bach, whom many significant musicians, composers, consider uh, their own master teacher and uh, exemplary figure. Um, his achievement in music is uh, most remarkable. Um, it is hard to find anyone who would surpass Bach in his um, ability to combine intellectual mastery with intensity of emotional expression. Um, the polyphonic pieces um, 
based on really complex, uh, probably most complex musical form that ever existed. Um, they, um, they are an incredible resource for intellectual and emotional growth. And um, I lamented in my abstract on the fact that Bach wrote these complex pieces because he had the audience that was capable of comprehending his very complex polyphonic language. And um, I am extremely alarmed by the fact that in our today's world, uh, instead of evolving, we went backwards and this trend of uh, lacking musical literacy is extremely alarming. Um, I um, would like to speak, however, about another very important subject um, that I began discovering not long ago. Um, my, uh, my entire life had dramatically changed after becoming uh, a victim of drunk driver car accident that followed a heart attack. And uh, after, after a while, I found out that I was only one of uh, millions of victims of the universal medical crisis around women-specific heart disease that is a number one killer of women. And um, um, I will not speak about this at this moment. Please visit my other presentations on this subject. However, uh, today I would like to simply mention that um, <clears throat> Instead of finding help, um, because of the lack of mere diagnostic tools that are gender specific and target specific women's heart conditions, I've become a victim of fierce retaliation and uh, uh, experienced a lot of trauma in addition to this physical condition instead of help, instead of being shielded from trauma by doctors and some public officials to whom I turned for help, um, they had acted in the most cruel, nasty and unethical way, taking advantage of my disability. However, please visit my other presentations and interviews and uh, narratives on, on the details of this very important subject that concerns not just me, but actually reflects on the health and ability to stay alive for millions of women. However, I would like to say today that um, when my medical provider had gone beyond, beyond any possible ethical violations limits and they bluntly cancelled my coverage, I was in 
probably the darkest point in my life. And uh, I had no help and I had no hopes to find any medical help. Um, all I had left was my prayers to my guardian angels and to the Creator and there was music. There was the gift of music that I Uh, I feel so grateful for because music saved my life and it's not an exaggeration um, however today um, I want to speak very briefly about one very important aspect of music that came alive in my consciousness due to this uh, necessity to deal with um, a lot of trauma. I am holding a very special book by a uh, most amazing, one of the most amazing people that I've ever met in this life. Varvara Ivanova, um, she, she is known in Russia and um, to some extent um, in other countries. This book is actually published in San Francisco in English. However, it's out of print, unfortunately. Um, she is known for her extraordinary, powerful ability to heal people through her biofeedback energy, a subject that needs a lot more research and studies. However, this book is written in the form of collection of studies with a lot of citations, very scientific approach, I would say. Um, today I wanted to briefly describe how I came to experience her very special gift. I was a young student in Moscow and during Perestroika, most exciting time in the history of uh, Soviet Union at the time, a lot of things were happening for the first time and likely for the first time it was possible to have a large public event for a person like Barbara Ivanova who shared with us so much of her knowledge. Um, I came to a large factory auditorium that had five levels. It was packed with close to 5,000 people and I was able to sit only at the very top. People were asking questions for hours, at least five hours, and she was so generous with her time. There was so much yearning to, to learn about this prohibited subject. Um, I would not be able to, to explain everything. However, um, someone asked Barbara Ivanova, why is it possible that she specifically had this very powerful gift of healing? Her answer was quite unusual, like a lot of her answers surprised me and probably most of the audience. 
she said, most remarkably, that this gift is actually not unique. And in fact, she said that all people have this gift, but to, to an extent, and it can be developed. In fact, later on, I learned that she taught other people uh, very generously in addition to healing herself. And I learned it from this book much later when I was already in this country. Um, however, um, she stated very seriously that one of the reasons um, some people, only very few people, have access to the full power of, uh, of this ability, uh, but others just, just have it in undeveloped form. Comparing this to singing ability, she compared it to music, apparently. I remember it so vividly. Uh, she said, just like everyone can sing, everyone has this ability to, to access our power for healing. However, some of us sing in our living rooms and in, in the showers, and some of us sing on stages <laughs> to the pleasure and uh, uh, benefit of, of large audiences. Um, she said that the main reason why the humankind does not have full access to this ability is because of uh, the low ethical development. And uh, that is one of the most important subjects of uh, my, um, my address today. Um, through music, intuitively, I have been trying to bring out um, the best in our hearts and souls, both in my students and I hope my music resonated and inspired um, the best that our human potential is created for. Um, in the very beginning of her lecture, amazing Varvara Ivanova told us that she is going to show us her aura and um, I have to admit that out of close to 5,000 people, after midnight, she told those hardcore, <laughs> dedicated fans of, of her and her subject to come down on the first floor. And I was, of course, among those uh, who wouldn't wish to leave prior to the event ending. Um, I joined 200 people at the time, about 200 people left. It was very late. Um, she told us together next to the stage, sit down and um, keep our eyes open, but relax and focus on something we would want to heal in our own bodies. And she told us to think about the image of Golden Lotus. And then, um, something that is absolutely impossible to describe verbally started happening. 
I began seeing golden shining around her body and it was very vivid and clearly visible however magical and hard to explain in the words uh, intense and gentle golden light amber color um, I can compare it to some images on frescoes the saints have shining shilohs surrounding their heads so that's approximately what her aura looked like however it was all around her body not just her head but another most amazing thing that I would never forget in my life was golden lotus the vision most vivid and clear in my mind however <laughs> not in in any other dimension the clear vision was a moving vision of opening golden lotus and again i don't know how to describe this and uh, that is the reason I'm speaking about the subject next to the piano. Um, since not long ago when I had to pray for health of um, my friend and my own health and I had to search for solutions outside of medical help um, I had discovered that just like the words of Han Hans Christian Andersen say that music speaks when the words fail um, I think only music can describe that vision that I was so privileged to see. So very often when I perform um, quiet musical pieces, uh, meditative and um, gentle of nature, I convey that most amazing, beyond words, impression that uh, I would never forget. And I do hope that uh, my music brings my listeners, listeners of my music, closer to the state that would allow all of us, our entire humankind, to access our highest potential that Marvana Ivanova was um, explaining to us. Um, that is the most recent discovery of the music and music's power to transform human mind that I came to, um, to experience intuitively. And I do hope that um, there would be um, many more um, attempts to, to find more in-depth exploration and understanding of these lesser known aspects of human consciousness and spirituality.